Hey, what is up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here tonight with WWE's Monday Night Raw coverage. I'm way late. I was at work tonight. I had to cover somebody's shift. So I missed all of Monday Night Raw, but I come home to all of this big hoopla with Sami Zayn trending on Twitter. So I have to go check this out and see what's going down. Instead of watching the whole show, I'm going to skip right to watching John Cena versus Sami Zayn for the United States Championship. Of course, this was the open challenge for the United States Challenge on Monday Night Raw tonight. And uh, this basically is how it goes down every week with Cena coming out delivering a promo. If you want some, come get some. Bret Hart's music hit right there at Monday Night Raw live in Montreal. And uh, I will honestly tell you that uh, I do remember, uh, I think it was Montreal, back in 2010, uh, after WrestleMania 26, um, uh, Bret Hart had a match against The Miz on Monday Night Raw, and he beat The Miz for the United States Championship. There's a lot of people out there who think that's one of the best Monday Night Raw moments of all time and an awesome way to cap off the career of Bret the Hitman Hart. I never liked that match. I never liked that uh, title change. And if I remember right, I think in the end they put the title, uh, they vacated the championship, and then after, at the end of it, The Miz ended up getting the title back in the long run. So it just did, really didn't even really need to happen. I, I don't know if they just were trying to make amends with Brett for everything that ever went down. He already got a win at WrestleMania against uh, Vince, so I, I don't know. I've just never been that strong about that match. Um, basically, uh, Brett came down and tried to introduce the, the, the next challenger, who was the hell of a wrestler. He was interrupted by none other than Heath Slater. One man, bam, baby! Uh, one of my favorite guys. This guy comes out on Raw the last three weeks, and he's basically stole the show for me. Someday he's going to get this match against John Cena, but it's not going to happen tonight. Uh, he Slater runs down everything that's happened to him in the last few weeks, um, You know, basically taking the RKO from Randy Orton in uh, catering. Uh, last week coming out to accept the challenge from Cena and being jumped uh, from behind uh, by Rusev. And this week he makes it all the way to the ring when he's about to cash in and get that United States Championship run when Bret the Hitman Hart claws Bonks him right in the head and knocks him out uh, with, with the um, um, with the, basically the microphone. And from there, Bret Hart talked about you know the the guy who he's introducing is a hell of a wrestler. He's a hometown boy, and all of Montreal pops big. They don't know who it's who it is. I don't think they knew who it was yet because the pop was just that momentary real good pop. And then Bret's next line was he's tearing up NXT, and the place went bananas. And that pop didn't stop. Everybody knew it was going to be Sami Zayn. I think that. Last night, I was basically on Twitter, and uh, I think it was even today when I was at the gym, and uh, somebody who ends up, um, who's going to go to the show tonight, I think it was Daryl Carter, uh, at DMoney1153, kept on asking me who it was going to be. I had no idea uh, that it was going to be... Uh, uh, Sami Zayn tonight. I knew that that was his hometown, but I just, I know he's got one more big match uh, against uh, Kevin Owens coming up. Uh, I believe the next pay per view is going to be an event for it. So I don't even know if this is really Sami Zayn's Raw debut. If you can remember back to like when Charlotte lost um, on, on Raw to Natalia, and then of course Sami Zayn's already wrestled in that. Um, was it a six man tag or no? It was just a regular tag when it was uh, Sami Zayn, Tyson Kidd, Neville, and. Um, Shit, who else was in that fatal four way? Um, I can't remember who it was. I, I went too fast and I, and I named the names. I can't remember who I named, but you know, he's already been there on Raw, but Triple H on his uh call in, um, because basically podcast that he does to hype up the shows talked about that they're not actual Raw debuts. And when you get a Monday Night Raw debut and they become a big part of the Monday Night, um, Raw roster, uh, you know, you're gonna know, and basically they're, they're gonna make a big deal out of it. How you can go back from this, I've got no clue. It's almost like when Adrian Neville uh, had his match on uh, pay per view at Extreme Rules against Wade Barrett. Uh, that's when I really knew that he was was never going back. Um, you know, there was that's too big of a moment for him to have, um, and uh, him having a great match against uh, John Cena should be that moment for Sami Zayn. Maybe he should go back, have the match against Kevin Owens, which I guess he's gonna have to lose now because I don't. You want to strip uh, the championship from Sami Zayn because he's on Monday Night Raw. But then again, they do all the tapings in two days, so maybe they can keep him on the main roster and on the NXT roster at the same time. Sami has an awesome match with John Cena. He's one of the greatest. You know, as El Generico, when he switched over to being Sami Zayn, I really thought that it didn't really make much sense uh, why he would try and do something 
so different than when people thought he was one of the best indie wrestlers out there on the uh, on the market when WWE scooped him up, why he would take the mask off, why he would kill off that character. Um, and um, I don't know, man. He's, he's turned it around, and he, he's probably bigger than he was before. Everybody loves Sami Zayn. He was, he was one of the biggest, um, most over guys at uh, WrestleMania weekend when he was doing the NXT signings or whether if he was in the ring. Um I know that he didn't get the wrestle on that NXT show, um, but the promo that him and, and um, uh, that Kevin Owens had was was just great. Um, in this match tonight, basically Sammy Owen, um, I'm sorry, basically Sammy Zayn. Um, he didn't get a lot of offense in this match. Basically, he was coming from behind a lot. But uh, for a guy like Sami Zayn to really come out there um, during the match and uh, kick out of an AA, and as well as when John Cena is going for the five knuckle shuffle, um, you know, reach up and grab Cena and roll him up for a two count. Um, that's a hell of a way for this guy to debut. Cena ended up getting the win uh, with a second AA that was followed up with a stunner. Um, on the, at the springboard center off the side of the ropes. But this was an awesome match. Uh, Zayn looked really good, and I'm really looking forward to when he becomes a main part of the main roster. And um, I think it's going to be a real big deal uh, when he does. Probably easily one of the um, the, the biggest things um, that, that's been on Monday Night Raw in a good little while. Definitely nothing really you know heating up uh, for payback yet. I know they're doing a lot of Randy Orton versus... Uh, uh, Sorry, I'm doing, they're doing a lot of Randy Orton versus Roman Reigns going on right now uh, with Monday Night Raw, but uh, we'll have to see what happens in the long run.